to do episode 17. Sure. I told her when you give me a date, I will shoot some dates past her. And um, like I said, she's got some web series coming out. Rusty, she's got some web documentary. They're doing some web documentary on her. Her mom said she wants us to link with them on this new web series. She's just on the voice. She did the voice. She really can sing. And she makes videos. So she just they just made some video, music video of her. So if we could link to them on the next show, and if she she one is camera shy because she dresses normal. She's like, well, I'm a behind the scenes person. So you would understand that from a camera point of view and make her feel comfortable. But I think it'll be a great connection and it would take us on a different level. This is a lady that did the challenge. No, this is, they just walked in to get some food. Oh. And I was like, here, and then they, my mom started, I was like, well, you know, please order now, because I'm doing a taping. She's like, what taping? So it started like that. She was like, well, what show are you on? Well, we just finished doing The Voice, and we got a web series on. Then she pulled up her daughter. She started showing the video they just did of her singing. She really, really can sing. And I friended her on Facebook. I told her I would link it to you so we could all be friends with them and see what we could do together. Yeah. And um, let's see if we can get some of those voice people to look at us. Okay? <laughs> and let's see if we can get those web people, whoever doing that web series on her, let's see if we can get them to look at us. Okay? Let's see if we can pull those people and, and open up some new doors. Maybe someone want to invest. Maybe we, they can do a web series, whatever this web thing else on us. I've begun, to, I've begun to find, since I've been a filmmaker, everybody has a screenplay idea. I, I don't know what a web series is. I don't even know what this stuff is. Uh, web like web series is like a TV series, except the episodes are usually five to ten minutes long. Oh, well, then we need that. Okay, what are we doing in Ohio? What else is going on in Ohio? Well, let's see. Travolta's in Columbus shooting because he's running around all these restaurants. Okay. <laughs> he's, he's, um, he's in Columbus. Let's see. What else? There's... Mickey Rourke in Cincinnati. Major, yeah, two major movies coming. Oh, I know we do things here, but I'm like... What's going on here? What we into? Uh, we got our things going, but we ain't there. We got okay. nice things going on, but it, it could be nicer. It, it, okay. True, true, but it's not the destination. It's the journey. Yes, um, we got a good route going on. Let's let's take a turn. Okay? Yeah, I want to. I think it would be great to meet her. Um, It's two white girls. And... I think it would be awesome to have them. You know where they're located? Pardon, Ohio, Paracay. But their mom said, don't worry about it. She's like, I'll bring them. You give me the date, she's here. Well, I don't know if they were in Dayton or Cincinnati or Huber. Par 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 Parquet, Ohio. Never heard of that. Huh. Parlay. Parlay. Oh. Yes. 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 Oh. Well, she said, don't worry it, about it. It is a, it, it's a small buck town up going like Greenville, Troy type oh. direction, I oh. believe. Okay. Yeah. Break today. Thank you. Keep it up. That's comedy. <laughs> okay. The more the more things that happens, the better it is for us to film. Yeah, but you missed all the other stuff that happened. I dropped the ladies' drinks. It was a mess. I wish I. I was like, "Where's the cameraman? He missing? They were cracking up. They thought it was funny. I didn't think it was funny. Making all this mess. All right. This is what she's doing. She's gonna start making toast. Can you? Okay. You're gonna take these four slices, and you're gonna be. I'm gonna be here. And no. Go, keep it. Okay. Go, go. Okay. And take that, and you're going to be making some toast while I talk. Okay. <laughs> making some toast. Making okay. toast. You're going to make toast, and then you're going to, yeah, let's get that started, because that can take a long time, and I can't do that much talking. And then take a little knife, and then start chopping up these little things. They're already washed. So you're going to make them thin. Okay. Let's see, you can use the thing. Take this clean. I'm just, um, you know, make them as thin as you can. Um, don't make that much noise. Let me get your chopping board. Okay, you got the chopping board, so if it hits, it's not banging too much. And don't worry, if you run short of time, I thought I would do a strip tease act while I discuss the monetary value of the American uh, economic system. Okay, you got some of your slides. So kind of work it down, you know what I mean? Let's see. I have my 
it's in the way I want it. I don't know what this looks like on the seed. You know I like neatness. And then when you get to these when we're talking. Yeah. Um <laughs> oh, sorry. Ah, look at her cut this radish. So you know I'll be laughing on the air. So you okay, know. let's start this. Don't be wrong because I, I got to laugh. Yeah, laugh, laugh. And we're, and we're going to film it all. Okay, let's <laughs> talk about this. Um, what am I calling this today? Aren't you glad you came? Or aren't you glad you... Never mind. Okay, so I'm going to let us know when we're wrong. You just stay focused. Wait, I'm going to turn your way. Good. <laughs> so Mr. is better. No, no, no. Stay <laughs> Good. When you're done, grab another one and do it. Ready? Don't you have to be out of here soon? Well, you ain't getting out of here. You have to be out of here. You're not getting oh, out. Hey, I am fine. You ready to? Oh, uh, wait. Re ready, ready, girl. Ready? Girl, I I've been filming for 10 minutes. What are you talking about, ready? <laughs> the cameraman, he's so sneaky. It's not like it's burning. Toast? Yeah, I'm burning the toast. I can't even make that. Did it burn? I like how to pop it. I know. It's perfect. It's perfect. That's the way I like it. Me too. That's how I like it. Oh, we're ready. A little burnt. Not burnt. But. Okay. Good, good. Welcome to the Cafe 125 cooking segment. Okay. Been running around already. But welcome. So what we're going to make today is, um, I've got some little light toast. I think you've already seen the posts. This is like some um, greens with some avocado, something nice and fresh to impress your guests, okay? And um, this, and we're going to use some um, ingredients from my favorite people. Okay? Who else makes lovely greens like that? But the PS people. Okay? And I've got some uh, mixture of some sliced almonds and pecans, you know me. I've got some nice radishes that we are cleaning and slicing. You'll need some oranges. I've got some white wine vinegar. Don't look at the people, y'all. I ain't trying to do a commercial, just trying to make a steak. Okay? Okay. And I've got some extra virgin olive oil and a container for mixing. And right now we're making a toast, and we've got um, Andrea Selby. And Miss Selby is here to help us. Can you come up here and say hello? Oh. Hey. This is Andrea Selby. She is with one of the Casablancas Molly. I don't know what she do. What you do? John Casablanca. John Casablanca model. Okay. And what else? What do you What do you do? You model and yeah, and I work at uh, Carver Steakhouse. She works at Carver. Bless me. You take that out. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't forget, actress. Huh? Oh yeah, and I act occasionally. Okay, she's an actress. And, and model, I'm doing a fashion show at the end of this month. Oh yeah, where for yeah. who? Um, it's just for Fashion Angels, a charity. Mm -hmm. oh, it's in Loveland, nice. Ohio. Yay! Let's give it up for her. Yay. Very good. So she's gonna help us um, do this meal today, and right now she is cutting. cutting up some radishes, and she's doing the toast back here, and we're gonna get the. Um, she's gonna do some oranges as well. So I'm gonna start this vinaigrette, okay? So the vinaigrette, you'll need, um, I don't know how much olive oil, I go by the site, okay? So I'm gonna put like about a tablespoon of olive oil in this mixing container. Okay, a little bit of um, olive oil, extra virgin, I'm oh, sorry, my mind ain't here today. And I've got some white vinegar. I'm gonna add a little bit of white vinegar. You know, I didn't get to start the show. I didn't prep today. I've been busy. Okay, it was a busy day. What happened? What happened? Andrea, you're burning up your toast over here. <laughs> Do you cook in the kitchen? <laughs> no, she don't cook. I can tell the way she's chopping up these radishes. She's tearing them up, y'all. I literally okay. own. Don't judge. Okay, listen. <laughs> okay, so I'm putting some vinegar in here. This is some white wine vinegar. And I'm going to mix this up. I'm just going to shake it. But to this, you need to add some orange juice, some orange zest, and uh, that'll do it. So I'm going to get that going right now. Now, too many breaks in between this and the man. This is not burnt. It's like well, perfect. It's perfect. Are we cut? No, but go ahead. Give me, you know, go give me none. 
Huh? Well, I might, I might edit it out, but this is when the fun stuff happens. Sorry, you take this, and we're going to make a little zest. So can you take that and make a little zest? I'm going to move this into... Z zest is when you get just a little bit of the peel. So but, oh, just the peel? Yeah. yeah. I'm like, I only do this with cheese. I'm going to do that. Here. Yeah. So okay. you would make a little zest, okay, to go um, in this, this sauce. So I've got this going for her. So what I want you to do next... Okay, I can do that. Dang, I'm that mess. I didn't this. think so. And <laughs> take this, and I want you to cut this in segments for me. Like, do this for me. Yeah. And she's going to that. Another gotcha. Size. Put that. And you're going to put some zest in here as well, right? So we're going to pretend like I put zest in there, because she's got the orange juice. She's going to have fresh orange juice and zest in this homemade um, vinaigrette. Zesty. So she's got some slices here, and That's let me not. give you a better. Can I just cut it in half? Oh, we're gonna make some little triangles. Here we go. Okay, and then you just cut these in some quarters for me like that. There you go. All right, so we're gonna put this together. This is really easy, and we'll be right back. All right. This is because it's the damn, the damn um, Chinese thing. It's the damn Chinese thing. You made the potatoes last time and wouldn't do the potatoes either. <laughs> the, the, man, the Mandarin slicer. The mandolin yeah. slicer. That's funny. The Chinese thing. I, I was just, I was just gonna blame the Chinese. Period. Yeah. You know. Right. It's the damn Chinese. Thing. Okay. Dar, darn Chinese Hold and their, their, their dumplings and dim sum and tasty Peking duck. Darn those Chinese. Okay, good. Let me clean up my table before I start talking. Good. Um, okay, and then we are going to slice these avocados in half and you're going to be making some while I make some. So this is going to be your avocado and we're going to slice um, and we're going to pit it and we're going to scoop it out and we're going to smash it on the toast. Okay? She mm -hmm. like, huh? Ah! <laughs> I don't know about that. Okay, ready cameraman? Yes. Okay. So while we took a little break, I, I fought with this this orange here on this this thing I bought, foreign piece of machine back here. Okay? I don't want to say what country I bought it from, but it ain't zesting nothing. Okay? So, I, I supposedly I've got some olive oil, white vinegar, and some orange zest. I'm going to squeeze some orange juice in there. Okay? A little real orange. It's no seedless orange. It's no seeds in there. So I'll be back here making a mess. We ain't doing no more cooking shells no more. With no, and no guests. You got me twisted over here, y'all. What's going on back there? The pit? Listen. Do we need that? No, okay, so we're gonna pull this orange juice in there. Good. I'm gonna shake it up. And that's it. Got real vinaigrette. Ah! Yum. Minus the mess. Okay. Now Selby's got um toast. She's gonna take the toast. And you take toast. Okay, we're gonna put these on some plates. She's already done the um, avocado for me. Good. I'm gonna take the pill off this avocado. You can use a spoon and do it a better way than I am. Okay, you would take a spoon and you just like kind of scoop this out. I'm gonna try to get a spoon over here. I'm gonna mess up my clothes. Dishes now. Avocado on them. Okay, and I'm gonna take this avocado, I'm gonna scoop this out, I'm gonna put it on some toast. Let's do it on two. Uh let's just do two on this one. Okay. 
Mm. So you would really use a fork and smash this, but forks over there, yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna smash this on here with a spoon. Some fresh avocado, okay. Thanks to Miss Selby for putting this and help me out. Now, if this was me, I'd make this a little neater. I only have a half hour show. <laughs> so we gotta go. Okay! <laughs> and you would take um, some fresh arugula. I've got some mixed greens from some organic greens here from you know who. And I'm gonna place these on the toast. And this toast here is some flaxseed. I've got some flaxseed greens and I've got some oatmeal toast here. Mm. And you take some greens, you put it on your toast, and you layer it with some nice, some fresh radish. It's nice, simple, light meal, okay? It's a great way to start your New Year's resolution. Okay, oops, sorry. Don't look at that. Okay, we've got some nice radish, and I'm going to top it with a little bit of got some sliced almonds and this is some vinaigrette it would have, you could toss it pre-toss it in your salad or you can drizzle it on there I would have loved to pre-toss it actually that's what I'm gonna do I put that on there I toss it around then I put that on our on our um, on our um, toast here okay and we're gonna plate this and we're gonna do one more and we're gonna see you out front be right back David is tossing salads I'm giving you tail. What else did I do the other day? Cut the cheese. <laughs> Cut the cheese. All kinds of dirty things going up in this kitchen. Okay, we're going to show Miss Shelby, even though she ain't going to be working here, I don't need to saw all this now. thought she was going to be a risky girl. Oh, we might have to okay, keep that for some now. time. Now, okay, she's too occupied. Okay, Miss Shelby, this is your moment. You could take this. How we serve or stuff, but it doesn't matter. So today, um, so uh, let's see. Fix this one. Uh, hold on. You're not rolling yet, are you? Don't William. Cut. He's been the whole time. <laughs> William, don't show bad stuff though. You edit them out. Okay? <coughs> I'll try. Help me out, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> what? That was, that was a little... Let me get it delicious. Okay. And you can show it. <laughs> now what? There he is. I don't know. Now, you I, should sit down and eat it. I, I should sit down and yeah. eat it. <laughs> we'll make Rusty eat it. No, I don't want it. <laughs> oh. Okay. It's <laughs> <Nice. laughs> right. There we go. All good. Do you need help, Davida? No, you guys, you need, let me make um, an egg real quick. I'm frying an egg and we're doing a one more plate. Let me switch. Cool. Well, then, I guess we stuck waiting. Did you get me struggling through the door? I sure did. God. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best part. I was like, what's happening? That's the main thing, is just don't lose your cool. Yeah. <laughs> I don't really care. Well, like, what I do, I don't know. Yeah. No one I know is going to watch it. Probably. I don't know, so I tell them. Unless you tell them to watch it. You're going to watch it first and decide. I'm going to do I want these people to watch it. Yeah. See, Carver's is just down the street from where you work. Yeah. We, 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 we worked at, uh, at uh, Phil Herman Realty, oh. which is right there by Target. Oh, okay. Right by the mall. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm, I'm, trying, I'm trying to get a job at B-Dubs. Buffalo Wild Wings, or I know people who keep telling me to get a job at Pub at the Grain. I know some people that, like, know people there, so. Mm -hmm. hmm. I know somebody who works there. Do you? Yeah. Who? I'm not going to say because I don't. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm really tricky about stuff like that because 
Um, I don't, I don't know. I only like to be accountable for myself, and I hate to say, I know that person. They're like, oh my God, that just doesn't seem like you. Because, <laughs> like, I have, I have him completely fooled that I'm, I'm a nice guy, you know? But, you know. <laughs> Who knew? Who knew? Yeah, yeah somebody's trying to get a job there. Well, keep at the acting. Yeah, let me know about stuff. Yeah. I will. I, I'll, I'll yeah, send you. The classes are on Wednesday night. In fact, there's one tonight. It's down in Sharonville. Sharonville? Yeah. Where's that at? South, uh, north of Cincinnati. Okay. Around 270. I've heard of it. I just didn't know 275, yeah. Yeah, 275. Yeah. yeah. Um, but they're, they're so fun, Mofa. I'll send you all this stuff. Yeah. Um, you have great expressive eyes. That's what I've been while watching the one, you. I, I, the one black and white, you reminded me of, a, of an actress from uh, like the 60s, Sherry Jackson. I don't know who that is. Yeah. She was on a show called Make Room for Danny, Danny Thomas show. See, people, so many people have told me I like remind them of like, like uh, my photographer said that they remind, or like I look like um, Penny off of Big Bang, Kayla yeah, Coco. I can, yeah, I can see that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Especially like when my hair, well, my hair was like a lot blonder than this. It was like a lot lighter. And he said like, I act like her and look like her. I'm like, wow, thanks. And then like someone's told me I look like the girl off of, um, off of the uh, Brady Bunch, uh, Marsha. Marsha, Marsha, yeah. Marsha, Marsha. Marsha. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I could totally see that. I'm like, yeah, whatever. That's funny with the fro. I've gotten great Brady before. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can see that. That's funny. Yeah, acting. I, 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 I like writing and directing more. Yeah. But acting. I really want to move to Georgia. So bad. Savannah. Every, yeah, that's that's the number three location for for film and television yeah, right it's now. Like, um, at, well, all the Hollywood and stuff is going to Georgia because of the taxes. Right. That's why they're coming. That's why Ohio is. You don't need to move anywhere because of the tax credits and tax breaks that film yeah. companies get in Ohio. Um, more and more every year. It yeah. just seems to be doubling. Yeah, that's why. That's why. To, just, that's that's why. Uh, move, yeah. Like, to someplace else. You know what I mean? Like, I just want to move to the beach. I just yeah. want to move, like, See, somewhere I, nicer. I've already been places. Yeah. I, I take a cue from, uh, okay, a dorky movie. It's a favorite of mine, but it's called uh, The Adventures of Buckaroo Banzai. Yeah. And there's just this great line where he goes, uh, hey, 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 don't do that. Come on. Wherever you go, there you are. Yeah. Which is how, how I feel about it, you know? Mm -hmm. I, I've, I've lived... California, Hawaii, Arizona, New Mexico, North Carolina, Kentucky. See, I've been to all those places other than Hawaii, but I like, and I just want to move, like, you know, I just want to move by the beach. I'm just like definitely a warm beach person. Like a warm beach. Yes. <laughs> like the sand, like, I just like. I was stationed for three years in Hawaii. And if you're rich, it's, it's good to go there. Yeah. Um, I mean, but I would be fine just sitting on the beach. Like I would be fine. I did a lot of that. I would be a bartender <laughs> over there. I would be. That would be my ideal like place. My uh, my sister is currently a bartender in the Virgin Islands. Yeah, she uh, oh. about five months ago. Um, this guy was like, "Hey, my house is sitting empty in the Virgin Islands. You know, do you think you could go stay there?" And boom, she hopped on a plane. <laughs> Man, see, I need to get my passport for that moment. Yeah, like, just so you have it ready. <laughs> yes, <laughs> because like I know someone who um, they're like they're like they bought like um, but they were going on vacation to like some some like islands or something. I can't remember what it was now, but um, and they had an extra ticket, and they were just like, "Do you want to go? We're leaving like a couple days." I was like, "What?" And they couldn't get their money back because then someone just failed on them. They couldn't. Oh, that sucks. Yeah. And I was like, oh, my God. I was like, yeah, they're like, we're leaving a couple of days. I was like, okay, maybe I can't pull that off. But <laughs> I didn't really need to get my passport. So bad. I used to, uh, I mean, Hawaii is neat, but it drove me crazy because being a Midwestern boy, I like to drive. Yeah. And if you drive in any direction for an hour and a half, Man, you're, you hit beach. Yeah. Though I have to say, there's something cool about, and I did this once. I got all my friends to do it with me. We got up at four in the morning, went to the east side of the island, started drinking, watched the sun come up out of the ocean, 
spent the whole day partying and drinking. That's so cool. Ended up on the west side of the island so we could watch the sun set into the ocean. And by then we were booped up. Um, <laughs> but it was a hell of a day though. I mean, I went cliff diving. Yeah. Um, my ex I, is I, from California and like he's like, we're all, like, that's what he always did was drive and yeah. you know, stuff. I lived in California when I was a kid for about five years. Really? Yeah. Mostly in the desert. Yeah. yeah. I'm a desert kid. That's where the, I did the movie though, Savannah. And yeah. Tybee Island. That's where I was. Where at? Tybee Island. Oh. That's where I want to move. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. I just want to move there. And then, like, if there's any movies up here, I have family. So, I just, so you just hop on back. Yeah. And just visit and do the movie, you know. But I really want, like, I went to a modeling expo when I, like, was, like, 19. And I so wish I would have done it, like, now because I'd be so much more ready than I was back then. Yeah. I was right out of school, you know, right out of modeling school and stuff. I had no idea what I was doing. And, like, I went to every single one of those, like, workshops and everything. And everyone, oh, like, was like, oh, you know, you have to look for it. You have this, blah, blah, blah. You have, like, the personality, like, all this shit. And, um... Then, like, I didn't like, get any, like, any callbacks or anything. Mm -hmm. So after that, I was just, like, so irritated with it. But, and, like, my um, my manager or, like, my agent didn't help us at all. Like, See, everyone nice. else helped me other than her. And yeah. it drove me nuts. Like, you know, like, I pay for her, basically. You know, the, mo the um, doing the modeling classes and stuff like that. But Okay, I'm ready when you guys are. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. We're ready. What do we got? What do we got? So this is really just a talk about and we'll put it together and yeah. we'll play this one and then we'll sit down, we'll make a couple we'll show her pouring some hot water into the tea to the tea cups. And then we'll be done. Cool. And we can sit around and uh, just BS. Yeah. We are rolling. Okay, and this is our second um, um quick recipe. I don't have a name for these. I found these on online Google, I can't steal nobody's recipes, okay, okay, and Ms. Selby's going to help us prepare this, so this is the second one here, and this is really easy, so you're going to, you can, this is so easy, Selby could do it, ah, <laughs> okay, so take that, and you, and you're going to put some, um, the piece of lettuce, um, piece of roaming lettuce on each, on that one, see, so easy, Selby, and then you can take a, we just, I have a, you can use like, um, like a poached egg or a sunny side up. I'm not into raw stuff, you know, but to each his own. So you place one of that on top, and Miss Selby will do the other. So easy, Selby can do it, right? Yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> you do that. Very good. Maybe. Give you that. <laughs> okay, and take, um, take some of these. or some, um, I'm so sorry, audience. I've got some tomatoes here that I diced, some of our little nuts. I've got some of our sliced oranges that Selby did earlier. I've got some feta cheese. And here's some lime. So in this vinaigrette, I have um, our organic um, extra virgin olive oil. I've got some white wine vinegar in there, and I have some um, lime juice in here. And that's it. I just shook it around. That's going to be our topping on this. So if you can go ahead and add, like, sprinkle some of those on each one. Very good. And you can do it on the other one. That'd be just perfect. We don't need to use all of them. Great. And you can add um, a little bit of feta cheese on top. Mm. You can maybe use your fingers. There yeah, you go. Okay. You I love feta. A little feta. Nah. Good. And you can like crumble them out and sprinkle that on that one. Very good. I would like crumble these up. Any, yeah. any stinky goat cheese. Okay, good. So we got that. <laughs> and you can sprinkle a little bit of nuts on top. So easy. Miss Selby can do that. <laughs> sprinkle Ouch. that on top of there. A little bit of nuts. And a little bit on that one and that's what we're going to do and we're going to for a garnishment we'll use some of our orange juice or you can use limes but you can't really most people don't eat limes you know you just garnish this for your guests you know you can lay them out accordingly make it look you like okay and and we're going to take a little of our um our topping here i'm going to just drill some on top if you have a dispenser use one better than mine okay this is the cafe wig. Y'all know I'm cheap. I don't buy nothing. Okay. Okay. So you're gonna put that on top, and that's simple and easy. And Miss Shelby is Miss Shelby's gonna take that. She'll plate it, and we'll meet you out there with some great teas that go well with this.
guests today so I don't have the utensils here but I would serve like one with each of the guests maybe we could share since it's a little bit different I would like maybe put a little bit on each person's plate split up that and we're gonna get some delicious tea that Miss Selby's gonna serve and then we'll sit down and enjoy it be right back put some water in here well I'm gonna get in here and enjoy this then Da, 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 da. You enjoy it. I like some chamomile. Chamomile is delicious. Oh, but I do that. This is passion fruit. I changed it. I made a mistake. Ah, so passion, this is fruit. passion fruit. Passion fruit. Um, works. Black tea. Not our pinky now. And <laughs> SpongeBob. Yeah. And we're ready to enjoy this. So thank you again for sharing this day with us. We're gonna have some fun today. Okay. Good. I, um, you may want to switch these with guests, maybe split some and share. Um, we'll do that off camera. I won't slice and dice these in front of you guys. Very good. And we're going to sit down and enjoy for goodness. Um, so if you like to sit down. That was the perfect amount. That was the perfect amount. Yeah, it was. like to sit down as well. And we're going to enjoy this. Hey, thanks again. Bye. And that is a French press. Yes, salute. salute. Cheers. Cheers. Mr. Rusty, I'm missing you, Mr. Peach. I'm oh, sorry. Mm. Delicious. Mm. That's gonna be fun. My friend. Mm. Toast. <laughs> Toast. Toast. And you sit down and you join. Mm. Bye. And you eat. What kind of tea we have? It's a passion fruit black tea. I'm oh. not gonna eat all this. I cut. Yeah, I don't eat. <laughs> <laughs> it is good though. It's clean. I actually I do want to taste this because I'm I just search it now. Greetings and salutations. I I did. It was not bad. How are you doing? 